Hi everyone, this is YouTube31Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone back to part number two of my Toro CCR Power Light Quick Fix and Repair video. Now today we'll be working on one of my very favorite Tecumseh two cycle engines. So let's get started. Now we don't want to over tighten this, it's threading into aluminum with bronze so we have to be real careful. Now we're going to blast air pressure through the gas tank and make sure there's no pieces of debris in the gas tank next. Now on our top cover, this black piece has two screws, 5 16 screws that hold this black indicator main plate in place and once those are lifted off we have a hole underneath as we can see we get access to the spark plug so we're going to remove that and then now on our primer we have two clips let's see if this will be able to see it we have to poke in with a needle nose pair of pliers I might be able to get it off with my hand that are right here No, they're a little bit too tight, but we'll have to use pliers to, to pop out this white piece base plate here for our primer. So that'll be Now we're going to put our new primer on the top of our lower plate. This is kind of tricky. You kind of have to push it in. When you put these on, you kind of have to push the whole thing on first and then let it kind of expand back in like a, you're changing a tire on a car. Now we're going to remove and replace the spark plug. It doesn't look too bad. Here's our new one. Always start the threads by hand. We don't need to go too tight. Just so-so, that's it. That takes care of that. Now we're going to put our Council cover back on along with our pri new primer bulb, which is right here. We have to slip these inserts in. Then put our two screws in. Not too tight. Now we're going to push our primer ball back in. That takes care of that. Now we're going to reconnect the vacuum line.
and then reconnect our gas line. And now it's time for a quick test. Okay, now that we started it, we can see it doesn't seem to have the RPM that it really should have for this model. So we're going to show you how we're going to do that, take care of that next. We're going to set our RPM speed now. And let me zoom in on the spot. There's an adjustment tab right here where my finger's pointing, where the governor control spring is fastened to this spring right here and we're going to bend this out slightly our rpms are set at 42 between 4000 and 4100 rpms and we're going to move it up to about 4500 rpms by adjusting this spring We can now see that the Toro CCR power light is running much better, more along the lines of a brand new one. So our next step is to take it outside and we're going to test it in the snow. Now that's just about going to do it for our testing of our Toro CCR power light. Um, the next step is we're going to put the back cover on and that will just about complete this episode. Okay there we have it. Now we're completed with our Toro CCR power light quick fix. And this snow blower was uh, a fairly uneasy fix and typically these generally are. 
Uh, occasionally I get one in that needs a, a total carburation rebuild, but it's not that common. Now, in our next video, we're going to be doing the reassembly of a 2450 Toro CCR snowblower. So, anyways, it's pretty much a basket case, and we're going to be reassembling the engine and putting in a new piston and needle bearings on, in our connecting rod. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for uh, today's episode. So, till next time. This is 3-in-1 Pockets, and thanks for watching.